So tell me about your journey. Well, um, I'm not naming any names or anything, but um, <coughs> Poseidon, he's um, uh, he's not really, he doesn't really like me too much. And then uh, <coughs> uh, Calypso, she um, she likes me too much. Yeah, that's terrible. Can you tell me more about it? Well, to start off, Ellen, when I was sailing home from the Trojan War. I actually saw her upon this island called Ojijia where I met this nymph named Calypso. And she was, a, uh, she was something else. She, um, she was very pretty and all, but, uh, I'm very loyal and stuff to my wife Penelope. But, uh, but, but Calypso tried to actually marry me, force me into marriage. And, um, I just, I could never, I couldn't do it. I'm stuck with Penelope and that's just how it is. How'd you get away from Calypso? I had a deal with that nymph for who knows how long until finally Hermes came and had me freed. Well, think it's here that she helped you. Hey, Odysseus. Uh, get away from me. Nasty. Marry me! Oh, <laughs> so gross. Well, what happened with Poseidon? Well, actually, when I was in the land of the Cyclops, I was actually uh, roaming around and I found a couple of caves. And I actually went into one that actually turned out to be Poseidon's son, Polythemus. And uh, when Poseidon's son, Polythemus, came in, he actually um, he actually did not show hospitality, which is what I was thinking he was going to do when he was going to give me a gift. But he actually ended up eating two of my crew members. How did you get out of that? Well, actually, I came up with a very smart plan why I would actually get him drunk. And then I would tell him my name is Nobody. But after I told him my name is Nobody, I selected a couple of strong men to get this huge staff and heat it into a fire. And when I heated it in the fire, I actually took these men and we dragged it into his eye, which actually blinded him. And then when it when it hit his eye, he, he abrupted with a roar and said, Ah, my nobody's killing me. And which actually triggered the neighbors that were like, Okay, nobody's killing him. So I actually got out of there. When he actually opened up the cave for me, and we let him, we got we got out. Very clever. How do you figure out your name? Well, I kind of boasted to him and told him my name, where I was from, what I was doing, and where I was going. And uh, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. So what was I to do? Now that he knows that you blinded his son. Well, actually, when I was sailing home from Ojijia on the 18th day of sailing, I actually saw large tidal waves coming at me, and they hit my boat, but they didn't capsize it until a, a lightning bolt came down and hit my ship and destroyed it. And when it destroyed it, I flew off, and I was in the water, and I was on some uh, scraps of my boat. When a, when a goddess came down by the name of Inno and gave me this immortal scarf, when I was in the water, Athena came down and gave me some words of wisdom to swim to shore. So obviously I had to listen to her and I swam to shore. But when I got to shore, I was so tired. So I buried myself in some leaves. And then Athena actually showered me to sleep. And uh, that was that was my first crazy story. It's a crazy story, but it looks like that's all the time we have left. So. Yeah, thank you. That was my pleasure. Now to our commercial break. I Hello! Hey guys, Gerald here, here to tell you about a new potion made by Hermes that will turn you back from a swine into a human being for only a cheap price of $19.99 plus shipping and handling.